any woman in general, if you are really cool and you're really interested when you first start talking to them, and then give it three, four, five days, and all of a sudden all right. you're not consistent anymore. Let's talk about this little rant of Tommy Lawrence here, guys. If you guys don't know who Tommy Lauren is, she is a conservative political commentary uh, public figure, and she is or identifies as traditional. And uh, I guess she just posted this rant recently, basically saying that men are trash, we're trash, and we need to get our act together. Okay. You feel me? You need to get our act together, guys, because that's what Tommy Lauren wants. Um, so I'm just going to do a quick review on her review of men and basically just give you my thoughts as a professional dating coach, a professional pickup artist. Um, and, you know, I've seen other YouTubers kind of cover this and they've, you know, pretty much bashed her and trashed her and, you know, I've cut her down and all this other stuff and blamed women and all this other stuff. So I've seen a number of people um, do reviews on her Men Are Trash rant that she apparently did on Instagram Live. And I didn't want to do that just because, you know, I I want to I want to play devil's advocate and just kind of look at what she's saying and um, just kind of transcribe it for you guys, you know, from basically womanese to English. Okay, so we're going to go from womanese to English about Tommy Lauren's rant uh, about men being trash. So I'm going to try to go through her bullet points. I believe there are only like three or four, uh, but we'll go through them um, right now. I'm surprised one of her bullet points wasn't that men don't listen, right? I was like waiting for that one. I was like, men don't listen. Look, I even forgot myself, right? Her first bullet point, guys, is that you as a man need to be single don't be approaching these girls if you ain't single boy right don't be doing that that's what tommy lawrence said don't be approaching these girls if you ain't single and uh you know what i actually agree with her i agree with her on this oh you simp simp stop simping right no <laughs> i'm saying i agree with her for the fact that um i'm completely honest when i meet these girls all right back when i was like in my 20s late teens you know back before you learn game before you learn game, you tend to lie to these girls, right? You might be in an LTR with a girl, you might have a girlfriend, or you might be dating five different girls, and then you try to hide it, right? You try to hide it from the girls. And then eventually she, she finds out, and then she's like, hey, what are you doing? You know, and she's just kind of like devastated by it. Whereas I've learned from that, um, and um, nowadays I tell the girl straight out, yeah, like, hey, I got a five girl dating rotation, you're not the only one. Or I'll tell the girl straight up, I'm not looking for a relationship from you. Okay? If you want to date me and then we see where it goes from there, that's what I want to do. But I don't want to just be like go on three dates and then you, you start telling people that you're my girlfriend. I don't want that. I don't like that. Don't do that. Right? So I agree with her on that fact. And the reason why I'm agreeing with her on that is because when you tell a girl that you're dating other women... You know, even if you're not, I mean, I don't, I'm not advocating that you lie, but um, especially if you are dating, if you have a dating rotation going, uh, you should tell her because you know what? That will help you, right? That will help you because there is a little something in game called pre-selection that is probably one of the most powerful like techniques that you could possibly use in game, right? It's called pre-selection, aka social proof, right? Telling the girl, communicating to her that, hey, you're wanted by other females, right? Other females want to be with you because as I've taught you guys, right? As I've, especially guys who are in mastery, as I've, as I've taught you guys, like once you get your first beautiful girlfriend, it will be much easier to get the next one and the next one and the next one, right? She doesn't even have to be your girlfriend. I shouldn't say that. Like the first beautiful girl that you just start dating, start walking around these venues with, as arm candy, it will be easier to get more and more and more because other women will see you as pre-selected. Like this dude is pre-selected. I want him. I want some. Right? And where you guys go wrong is when you don't tell these girls you're dating other women. You don't tell them you have a dating rotation. Instead, you're like, I'm completely free, girl. I'm completely single. It's just me and you. I'm totally available for you. And then 
does a chick ever be like, oh my gosh, yes, yes. No, she's like, ugh, nobody wants this guy. What's wrong with him, right? Ugh. You know, you don't want that. You want to tell her that, hey, girl, I'm seeing somebody, right? It's not serious, but I'm seeing somebody. All right. So, and if you have a girlfriend and you want to go out and pick up other women, why do you have a girlfriend, right? Get out of that relationship. Um, yeah, that's always going to end bad. Why are you with a girlfriend? Obviously, if you have a girlfriend and you're going out and you're being tempted by other girls and you want to pick up other girls, um, obviously, you shouldn't be with that girl because you're not attracted to her enough to stop chasing other girls. Right? You're just not attracted to her enough and, you know, chances are it's not going to change especially if you've been together over a year. It's probably not gonna change. You're just better off cutting it off so you could focus completely on getting somebody that you don't feel that you settled for. You feel me? So that was her first, uh, her first point that Tommy wanted to make clear that I actually agree on. Like, yeah, man, there's no reason to lie, right? Because it will help you. It will help you when you tell these girls, yep, yep, I'm seeing somebody, right? I had this wing back in the day that wasn't even good looking and he would, and he didn't have a girlfriend. He would flat out tell girls that he had a girlfriend at home. He had a girlfriend at home, and then the girls would think like, "Oh, okay, he doesn't want anything from me." And then their guards would go down. He would befriend them, and because he was such a cool guy with this really cool, sweet French, like awesome French accent, these girls would hang out with him because they'd say like, "Oh, he doesn't want anything." And then they would start to get into him, start to get to know him. Their guard is down. He would be hanging out with them all the time. And then he, at some point where he felt he could pull the trigger with him, he would come to them and be like, oh, girl, my girlfriend just, you know, we're breaking up. I can't believe this happening. And da, 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 you know, and then all of a sudden it would create that lane for him to get in. So that was a case where a guy just, he didn't even have a girlfriend and he would tell girls that he had a girlfriend. All right. So that was her first point. And the second point, and this might be out of order, but her second point was if you're going to, uh, if you're going to uh, text her, make sure you have a plan, right? And that's another thing I agree with. I've told you guys this before, right? Stop simping, simping for Tommy Lauren. No, I'm not simping, man. I'm just trying to tell you that if you go back into my coaching videos, I've said to do this, right? I've said to do this. I think the, the, the fact that Tommy is kind of like, she thinks like a dude, right? She does, she thinks like a dude, right? She's really giving a lot of key pointers, but from a, a kind of like an almost like an honest female perspective when she's saying like, yeah, don't text me unless you have plans. Don't text me to ask me like how my day is going. What's the weather like over there? How, what did you have for lunch, right? Because a lot of you guys do this shit. A lot of you guys, you meet these chicks and you, ha you don't have that male to female sexual type conversation. Instead, you have like a female to female conversation, a friend to friend conversation. What are you up to, girl? Well, how's your day going? All this other shit with her. And you're not communicating just this raw, like masculine to feminine energy, right? You're not communicating that. And that's why I've told you guys, like my own text game is very, very dry. There's nothing magical about it, right? I've always bagged on these guys who sell the, like the text game programs, like, oh, Four magic words to text her to get her out with you tonight. It's like, no, dude. The reason why you're you're having to text her all this garbage is because you're in damage control from a botched approach, right? You didn't follow my five steps to doing a proper approach, which is also on my channel, right? Don't even have to be in mastery to get that. But obviously, if you're in mastery, you'll get the full, <laughs> you'll get the full, uh, the full uh, coaching video of that. Going through my five steps for a proper approach, otherwise known as doing a solid approach, right? You need to do a solid approach on these girls. That way, when you text her, you don't have to do these damage control texts. It's like, oh, Em, give me something funny. I could text her. She's not responding. It's like, no, you don't have to text her anything funny when you do a solid approach. You could just be like, like what I do with these girls. Hey, what's up, girl? Met you today, earlier this afternoon. What are you doing tonight? Hey, meet me at this bar, 10 o'clock. Be there. And then you show up at about 10, 15. And you know why I tell you guys to do that. Right, and if you don't know why, I tell you guys. If you tell her 10 o'clock, and you show up at 10, you, you know, you show up right on the dot at 10:05 or 10, 10 o'clock on the dot, or even before her, even worse. Uh, that's just telling me that you've not, you're not in any of my programs, right? So um, always show up about 10 to 15 minutes late, guys. So um, <laughs> that was another reason that she stipulated as part of her rant against men are trash was the fact that. 
uh, a lot of guys text her and they don't have a plan. Um, they're just kind of like dilly dallying. They're just kind of like trying, to, they're like beating around the bush. And, you know, unfortunately, a lot of guys do this. I'd say most guys who have no training, never start, never studied any dating advice, no pickup training, no red pill training. That's what these guys do. Why? Because that's what they learned from the blue pill. That's what they learned from the Matrix. That's what they learned from Hollywood movies. That's what they learned from all these commercials and TV shows and advertising is you got to act feminine. You don't pull the, tr you can't pull the trigger, right? You can't just be blunt like that. You, you have to filter yourself, right? They do everything. <laughs> I mean, they basically do everything that I don't teach you in Seven Months of Mastery. I teach you not to do. They basically do everything I teach you not to do. Um, and this is what she was ranting about is guys call her and they, they just are dilly dallying and they're not really actually asking her out. And it's not like these guys aren't attracted to her, right? Because she's not bad looking, all right? She's not bad looking. Uh, you wouldn't kick her out of bed. She's not bad looking. So <laughs> these guys dilly dally, you know, a lot of it's probably nervousness too. They don't know if they should like pull the trigger because society's kind of told you to, you know, that. Oh, you got toxic masculinity if you say hi to a female. It's like, no, dude, screw society. You got to pull the trigger. So when I text these girls, I'm like, hey, girl, meet me at this place. Meet me at this time. Or sometimes I'm just as blunt as like, come pick me up. Come over. I'm going to make you dinner. We're going to watch a movie. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. I, I mean, I have plans set. I don't just text girls and be like, oh, so I was on the subway and I was thinking about you. Just curious what you're up to today. You know, how was your weekend? I, I don't text shit like that. I'm just like, hey, it's Matt. What are you up to tonight? Hey, it's Matt. Um, I'm going to this thing later. I'm meeting some friends. Come with me. Wear this. Right? So a lot of times I'll tell the girl what to wear. Right? Because this is what I want to see her in. If I saw her earlier in the day, uh, you know, I'll be like, oh, you would probably look great in a dress and boots and your hair like up like this. And I'll tell the girl like through text, hey, wear your hair up like I told you to, like I talked about earlier, and then wear the dress and wear the boots we were talking about. You said you had a pair of boots, wear those tonight. I wanna check it out. I wanna see how they look on you, you know? I'll say stuff like that. I'm not texting the girl trying to find out like, you know, like how her day went. Oh, how was work? I don't care about that. I'm. We could talk about that later, much later, when we're dating, when you become my girlfriend. We have. All the time in the world to find out about your job. I don't want to know about that now. I just want to get you out. I want to see if we like each other. And I want to see if we don't like each other, right? If there's any reason to move forward, period, right? So that was her, <laughs> that was her second little point was uh, don't text her if you're just texting to talk about bullshit, right? And I'm kind of the same way. I don't like people texting me just, I guess, how's your day? Like what? What do you want? Right? I'm busy. I'm busy. I got a business to run. What? 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 Right? So I could understand her point about that. But again, I mean, this chick thinks like a dude. So I, I mean, a lot of guys were like trashing her as well. And it's like, I, I had, I hadn't found reason early enough yet to do that to her. I mean, I was thinking that I was like, oh, okay, maybe I do have to trash this chick if she's like saying anything out of, you know, just totally out of line. But I didn't get to that at least early in her video. I was kind of feeling like, okay, I do this shit anyway. I can understand why she's frustrated. She's frustrated because most guys are chumps. So it's not, I think she re, she titled her, her uh, video wrong. I think she was trying to get clicks too. I mean, as somebody who's studied marketing, um, she's definitely trying to get clicks. I don't think this, I think she's genuine what she's saying, but I also don't think she's stupid. She knows that if she wrote something like, oh, men need to get their act together. No, that's not going to do it. Men are trash is going to get clicks, right? Women are trash. So um, so I could see her kind of using her frustration with men to kind of also market to get clicks on this, uh, on this video, uh, which she did. It worked, right? But I'm not fooled by that one bit. So that was her second point. Uh, her third point was have a plan, okay? Again, these are probably out of order. Maybe they're in order. I don't remember. But the third thing was have a plan. So she's like, hey, if you're going to do something, man, have a plan, right? And I've taught you guys this as well. So, I mean, I don't see anything unreasonable about this. Have a plan, man. It's like you're asking these chicks out. Don't be like get her out and be like, so what do you want to do? And then she's like, I don't know. What do you want to do? Hmm, what do you want to do? No, don't do that, man. Especially when you first started start dating the girl. Have a plan. Take her to the places that you like to go. 
right? You got to show her. I mean, you're bringing her into your reality, guys, right? You're bringing her into your reality. So you got to show her what your reality is about, right? I mean, for me personally, I want the girl to come to my restaurants first, the restaurants I like to go to, the places I like to go to, uh, the venues I like to go to, uh, the beaches I like to go to, um, you know, things like that. If I, there's a car show happening, you know, like a Cars and Coffee, we haven't had one of those in a while, I'll be like, come with me to this Cars and Coffee, we're going to take my Corvette, or these days my DeLorean, right? Come with me to Cars and Coffee, we'll take the DeLorean. But yeah, I want the girl to see what my world and my reality is about. So I will purposely lead. I mean, not only for the fact that I'm trying to bring her to my reality, but also because I'm a leader, right? It's not even necessarily me trying to demonstrate that. I'm just a leader. I take the lead. I don't wait for the girl. I just take the lead. And just by default, the girl will follow you. If you're a leader, she will follow you. She won't be, she won't question it. If you know where you're going, guess what? She'll follow. But if you sit back like most chumps in that nowadays, right? Because they've been pussified so much. A lot of these guys sit back like, I want to make sure I'm respecting your space, girl. What do you want to do? You know, I, what are you communicating, right? So her third point about, hey, have a plan. I understand that, right? You got to have a plan. If you're going to ask these chicks out, have a plan, man. Have a plan, right? Um, the fourth thing she talked about was, uh, something about like calling her after midnight. I think that was something like that. Like basically booty call, right? It's like, if I'm home and you're calling me at 12 midnight, you're, you know, obviously, right. You, you know why you call girls after, you know, even after 10 PM at night is because you're trying to get laid, right? It's just a booty call. And so the thing, when she's talking about these things, by the way, the reason why she's on this rant is because she is naturally attracted to these type of guys okay so this is a part where I call out Tommy Lauren because I mean I've pretty much supported her her point so far but this is a part where I have to call her out because it's like I can see as a dating coach somebody who's helped not only men but I mean I've gotten this my share of women who've come to me for dating advice as well and I've helped them you know I've helped them some chicks have hired me and I'm like I've helped them right and the thing is she is naturally going for guys like this the guys that she's complaining about these are the guys that she's attracted to i mean if she were to get the guy that she's actually talking about like the guy who uh has a plan and the guy who uh um texts her yeah i mean well i shouldn't say that because that is the type of guy that is alpha but if she start if she went for guys that like didn't ghost her oh that's another point she brought up is like hey don't dis if you disappear you text us then you disappear for three days don't you know and that's something I teach you guys in seven months of mastery is to give these girls intermittent attention got to give these girls intermittent attention and as much as she is Tommy is complaining about it that is what's drawing her in the most and as a professional pickup artist I know the power of the push pull I know the power of the takeaways where you you know you, you give the girl a little bit, then you take it away. You give the girl a little bit, you take it away. Take one step forward, take two steps back. And as frustrating it is, as it is for these chicks, um, they are very sexually attracted to it. Uh, and I know that she's no different. Even with her guy, like her penis mentality, she thinks like a guy, um, it's attractive to her. As much as she's, she's complaining about it and bitching about it and ranting about it, um, if you remove that equation from the guys that she was dating, she would not have sexual attraction for them. I know that for a fact, right? I know that she wouldn't. As much as she's bitching and frustrated about it, um, that is what keeps her in the game. Because if these guys weren't doing that to her, right? Because obviously she's talking about guys she's dated. These are, I mean, her whole rant is basically about guys she's dated, right? I, she's talking about her friends. Eh, she's talking about herself, right? Her friends might be like her, but... Her, she's speaking from experience, right? She is speaking from experience that these like, guys are like basically ghosting her, calling whenever they feel like it because they're busy. I, I do that to every girl I'm dating now. It's just like, you know, every girl I've dated in the past, I should say, the girls that were in my dating rotation, that's how I was because I was busy. I wasn't even trying to do it as a technique. I was like, I wasn't even having to try to avoid them. I'm just busy right? I'm constantly busy. The girl I'm seeing now, I mean, I don't hide it. I'm like, I'm constantly busy. She sees me, I'm constantly busy, right? And I'm like, this is my life. You have to respect my space. You know, there are times where, luckily, she, thank God, she's like really, uh, um, she's really, uh, 
kind of uh, uh, accepting about that. So she doesn't like nag me and like, oh, where you been? There are times I can't return Texas for a couple of days. Like, you know, where you been? No, there's none of that. It's just like, oh, just checking on you, see how you're doing. Uh, but Tommy's frustrated with it, right? She's frustrated with it. I don't know if those guys are doing it as a technique or not, but it's probably, I don't think they are. I think those guys, like who, the type of guys that I could tell you that she's talking about probably don't have their shit together, but they're really good looking. They're probably chads. She strikes me as a type that goes for chads. So these guys are probably chads. They have other beautiful women in their dating rotation that they're not telling her about. And there goes her complaint about men lying about having a, uh, a girlfriend. But it's her own fault because she's going for chads, right? She's going for chads. This is why she said, you don't have to be Brad Pitt. It's like, yeah, you don't have to have Brad Pitt's money or anything like that, but you're still going for the chads, man. And you're frustrated because you can't lock down the chad. But, the, you know, and the chad is kind of ghosting you from the time to time because he has a, a huge dating rotation. He has other beautiful women besides you. And he's only calling you after 10 for the booty call. And you're frustrated with that because you, you know, you want to try to change him. But if he did change for you, you would lose complete interest in him. You know, Tommy, you know that. That's true. You would, right? It's true. You would, right? I mean, again, uh, the thing with uh, my review of Tommy's rant is I'm trying to be fair, right? I'm not just trying to like bash her like a lot of these other YouTubers did. Yeah, I'm not trying to make this like M versus Tommy like a lot of these other YouTubers have. Um, instead, I'm trying to be fair, right? I'm trying to be fair. And I feel like I've covered her points pretty fairly, you know, from the beginning uh, to the end, which we're getting to here. And finally, uh, Tommy's last point which I could definitely relate to as a guy. Uh, her last point was the fact that she feels she's a high value girl, has a lot of shit going for her, right? She's a public figure, obviously, makes good money, looks good, got a lot going for her, right? Yet guys are pushing her aside for the Tatiana, that was, those were her words, right? The Tatiana who just takes selfies on Instagram, Basically, these you know little girls who have nothing else going on in life, um, they're just kind of like basically she, from what she was saying, they're just like losers compared to her. And you know what? You know, basically low value females. And you know what? I get that, right? Because guess what? As guys, we deal with the same thing, right? There are a lot of girls out there that will push aside a high value guy for a loser, a low value male, right? Now I just did a coaching video on this on my channel about girls looking for fixer-uppers. Like, they're usually damaged females or on the way to become a uh, damaged female. They just date losers, right? They have success barriers. Uh, I've had that happen. I've had other successful friends of mine that, successful friends of mine that that's happened to, uh, successful students where they encountered the same thing and I had to coach them through that. One of my students was like a doctor, right? He's like a surgeon. Um, he has like a gazillion dollar house, like a mansion, I want to say. I mean, this house is huge. The guy lives on a hill. He freaking has like every toy you could possibly think of. Good looking guy too. He's not ugly. He's not old. Good looking dude. Um, fancy cars, fancy lifestyles. Uh, has dated beautiful women. And then there was this uh, Latina girl that he was really interested in. And he was thinking that she would just go for him like that because he's a surgeon and she was basically working at this like taco stand, not a taco stand, but it was like a Mexican restaurant, <laughs> taco stand. It's like a Mexican restaurant and uh, he would get takeout from there constantly and she was this really pretty girl. Um, he sent me photos, oh yeah, she's really pretty. Uh, she was probably like 10, 12 years younger than him, not that much. I mean, she was probably like 24 and he was like 36. It wasn't that bad. Um, but she works at this burrito place. She she lives in kind of like a not the best part of town, not the best part of L.A., right? It's pretty sketchy where she lives. Uh, she drives a beat-up car. And this guy is a high-value guy, surgeon, has a mansion, millions of dollars in the bank, good career, good-looking. This guy could literally take this girl out of the ghetto and give her a new life. He could totally go pretty woman like 2.0 on her, right? This Latina girl. But as much as he tried and he re and she knew who he was, she knew about his lifestyle, she saw the cars, it didn't matter to her. It didn't matter. And she was single at that time. And then he knew she knew he liked her. He had asked her out 
and she kept blowing him off. I'm busy with work. I'll think about it. This and that. Kept blowing him off. And then she met somebody else, right? She met somebody else. She met somebody else that um, I think he was, what did he do for a living? It was something that just wasn't like, you know, I mean, it was just like a normal, normal job. Uh, oh, what did he do? He was 28 years old. No, he's like 29, right? So the guy, like the guy she ended up dating was like 29. And I think he drove like um, a 7-Up truck, right? He delivered 7-Up. Um, and on top of that, he had like a bankruptcy. He had problems paying bills. Uh, also, he wasn't really that good looking. He was kind of pudgy, had a belly. Uh, so just beyond not having the financial resources that, you know, the, the surgeon had, right? This guy was out of shape. He was fat. He drank beer on the weekends. He smoked weed. That's who she decided to go for outside, you know, and push aside this guy who could have changed her life, this surgeon. And the guy, he, and he was telling me that he was like, I feel like so strong to this girl. He was like literally saying that um, if it worked out, he would marry the chick. I was like, what? It's like, yeah, I would marry the chick. And I was like, okay. And, um, she blew him off. She blew him off for who? You know, just some some guy, some guy, right? Some other guy that wasn't a surgeon, didn't live in a mansion, uh, was living with his parents, didn't even have his own apartment, living with his parents, and you know, just kind of scraping by, fat, chubby, belly, whatever. She pushed she pushed aside this high value guy for a lower value guy. You know, and that's just what happens. I, it's happened to me. You know, I'm a high value guy, and I feel like. <sighs> I feel like uh, there have been times that I could think of where the girl was just not impressed by the fact that I was successful, I had a nice car, I have a nice house, you know, um, I have a seven-figure business, didn't impress her, continued to date just like, you know, guys who are bums, right? So you can't control that. So I understand what Tommy's saying in that, you know, in that regard, but you know where it comes back to, it goes back to where are you fishing? Okay, and I told this guy, where are you gaming? The surgeon too, I told him, I'm like, well, you're trying to pick up this girl who works, you know, in the sketchy part of town, lives in the sketchy part of town, and she sees you, she's likely has that success barrier in her head. She does, she's not looking to get out of the ghetto. She wants to stay in the ghetto. That's why she dates guys like that, you know? Nothing against that, by the way. But I'm just saying, that's why she dates guys that are on her level, is she's not looking to get out. I'm like, if you're a high value guy and you wanna get a pretty Latina girl like that, she has to be wanting to go to the next level in life. A lot of these girls don't believe in themselves enough to go to that level. So when Tommy is saying that about the guys, it's like, where are you fishing, right? Where are you finding these guys? You gotta go to, go to places where you're gonna find guys who share the same values and beliefs that you do, at least when it comes to success and life. And this is why I go to the venues that I do these days. I don't go to the same venues that I used to in my 20s, right? I don't go to those clubs anymore and stuff because I was meeting a certain type of girl that does not fit into my life anymore, would not fit into my reality, my world, my lifestyle, right? I go to different places because I want, you know, there's a certain type of chick that I want that doesn't have success barriers, that isn't gonna like leave a successful, like, like say we break up, isn't, we're, you know, isn't gonna leave a successful guy like me and date somebody who's like sleeping on a couch and is drunk every weekend and living at his parents, <laughs> right? Uh, so I rather date girls who are also, you know, looking to like explore life and take it to the next level and go to a higher dimension, right? And really want to see what they're capable of as well. Um, but so I, I understand what she's saying in that regard. But again, it reverts back to where is she looking for these guys? It sounds to me like Tommy's been going clubbing. That's why she's being these type of guys. She's going to like downtown venues, going clubbing like everybody else. And it's like, why are you doing that? You're Tommy Lauren, right? You instead, I mean, you're this like public figure, political commentator. You should be going to events where you're meeting like senators. You're meeting like uh, CEOs of companies. You're meeting like very, very extremely high value dudes because that sounds like that's what you're looking for. But yet it sounds like you're going to the wrong places and you're meeting the type of guys you don't want. So you can't just blame that on the guys. You have to take some accountability and some responsibility. Which brings me to my last point was that she's female. This is the part where she is female. She did not accept any accountability or responsibility for anything that she's doing, right? I mean, to be fair, like if she really wanted to be taken seriously, she should have also had a list for women, right? You can't just be like, oh, this is a list. 
that I'm upset about. You know, you have to call out women too. Like, why is this happening, right? You have to call yourself out too, Tommy. So, it, you know, you, there has to be some give and take there. But like female, she refused to accept accountability for her own decisions, you know, especially the last one about guy, dating guys with success barriers. You know, that's, that's kind of your fault. So, with that said, uh, I'm going to wrap up here, guys. Until next time, this is M from The 33 Secrets. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Okay? If you have any comments about this, uh, what you thought of Tommy's rant, uh, go ahead and drop your comment below. I would love to hear it, male or female. Uh, I'd love to just share your opinion down below, and let's try to keep it respectful. Like, if there are females in there, don't start bashing guys. I think Tommy did enough of that, and you know, vice versa. So let's uh, try to get some dialogue open and see what other people have to say what you have to say about it what you thought of her rant did it did it upset you um did you feel sorry for her or did you feel like you know this is fair you know you understand where she's coming from but um i hopefully i covered it as fair as i possibly could without you know like bashing her or you know any personal attacks or anything like that um so yeah that's all i want to do because a lot of you guys have been commenting about it but anyway until next time like comment subscribe and uh for you guys who want to learn from the master, jump into seven months of mastery, right? It's only a buck for the entire first month of coaching lessons. And uh, basically, you can become the guy that uh, Tommy is bitching about, <laughs> right? And believe me, at the end of the day, she's she's attracted to these type of guys. I mean, she knows it, like deep down, she knows it. I mean, she's she doesn't have that much like female brain fog. She does think like a guy. So she is aware. Um, that she is attracted to these guys and she's going to the places and venues where she is finding these type of guys. And if she want, if she's complaining about you, just like Tommy does, um, jump into seven months of mastery. It's only a buck for the entire first month. And so she, yep. All you need to do is click the link below. Okay. Click the link below in my description box. It'll take you over to my website where you can get signed up right now. It just takes two seconds. So do that now, and I will see you in my next coaching video. All right, look at this view. Awesome, huh? Traveling again. Traveling, traveling, traveling.